Latarian Milton is not your typical seven-year-old. Few his age have ever driven an SUV up and down several busy streets. It all started at his mother's townhouse. Latarian says he took the car keys and hopped into his grandmother's Dodge Durango. When I came through the back door, I looked on the counter, my keys were gone. I took my grandma's car because I got mad at my mom, and then I saw him and had my friend come in, and he smoked with cigarettes. He started the vehicle and put it into gear. I, I yanked the, I yanked it, I yanked the um thing. And off they went. Two seven-year-olds alone on the road. Latarian drove several miles through Lake Park and Palm Beach Gardens. We got the one call that I told you about of a driver in the vehicle who looked too short to be able to see over the steering wheel. Along the way, he ran over two mailboxes, hit two parked cars in a Costco parking lot, and struck two moving cars near Walmart. I want to do it because it's fun. It's fun to do bad things, to drive into a car. But did you know that you could perhaps kill somebody? Yes, but I wanted to do hood rat stuff for my friend. It all ended on Investment Lane and Consumer Drive. That's where Latarian hit the curb and sideswiped the sign. The SUV took most of the beating, snapping off one of his axles and wheels. A grandmother's rage. I want to whip his behind. That's what I want to do right now. If I thought they wouldn't take me to jail, I'd whip his behind right now. You don't think he should be punished for all of this? This a little bit no video games for a whole weekend. And one unusual story for police. Are you, are you sorry? Yes. You understand that now your grandma's going to have to pay to have those cars fixed. LaMilton Tayshawn is back in the news. Two weeks ago, he achieved nationwide fame for stealing a car at the tender age of eight. And now he's assaulted his grandmother at a local Wally Mart. According to witnesses, LaMilton asked his grandmother to buy him some fried chicken. When she refused, he got angry. Here he is assaulting his grandmother again and again and yet again. Then he stops, walks to the counter to order the chicken, then goes back to beat on his grandmother some more. LaMilton... Did you hit your grandmother? Yeah, I beat her ass. But why? Because I asked for some fried chicken and she said no. What she expect? LaMilton's grandmother wants the public to give LaMilton another chance. You have to understand, he really likes that fried chicken. The problems for the seven-year-old who stole his grandmother's SUV and went on a dangerous joyride. His latest incident took place in a popular discount store and has landed him in a West Palm Beach hospital. Ted White joins us live with this story. Ted? The incident happened when the seven-year-old directed his anger towards his grandmother. In the end, authorities felt it, authorities rather, felt it was enough to bring him in for a mental evaluation. Latorian Milton exposed. We've seen him as a playful and happy seven-year-old. At other times, he's apologetic. I'm sorry what I did to my grandma's truck, and I'm sorry what I did to all you people in the hospital. And I love you, and I hope you be in prayer. But then there's his wild side. Can now, I leave now? Especially after he stole his grandmother's SUV two weeks ago. Along the way, he hit four cars and ran over two mailboxes before crashing into a curb inside. I want to do it because it's fun. It's fun to do bad things. But on Monday, Latarian took his bad boy image to a new level inside this Lake Park Walmart. The problem began when Latarian asked his grandmother to buy him some chicken wings. She said no. He got mad, walked over, and ordered them anyway. When his grandmother confronted him about it, Latarian snapped. This started hitting me. This started hitting me in front of the whole Walmart, and everyone in there was upset. In my stomach, in my legs, where, wherever he could reach me, that's where he hit me. By late afternoon, Riviera Beach police picked up Latarian from home and took him to the hospital for a mental evaluation. And I know what causes this behavior because all he's ever seen was his parents do physical, abusive, and verbal things. And I don't want him to continue in this direction, so I'm doing the best I can to get him the help. Bakita Stratford worries about what will happen once Latarian is released. She's trying to get her SUV repaired and at the same time keep her rental car out of harm's way. When I first got the rental, oh, you know, let me take this for a spin. And so now I just sleep with the keys, I lock them up. Latarian could be released after 72 hours. She hopes health officials can...